Quite recently, I did a video about transitions and the importance of transitions in uh, music uh, for TV and for film and for music licensing in general. Now, I want to show you today uh, transitions in a corporate track. Uh, it serves the same purpose. It's the same kind of transitions. Uh, it's just in a different type of uh, a genre, if you will. And corporate track, corporate music is not a, a style or a genre, by the way. But uh, the transition video that I did a few days ago was more uh, for more cinematic kind of track and it really calls for that kind of transition. And it's almost like uh, it's so obvious that it needed that or it's part of the actual composition. So here I have a corporate track that I've been working on or it's a perfect example for that matter uh, when it comes down to transitions. Now notice that the first transition uh, is in the intro. The very first thing that you're going to listen to is a transition, okay? So here we go. Very quickly, let me show you here where the transitions are. So the very first one is in the intro. Let's go back here to the intro. I'm here with the kids, so they're in the background watching TV. So the reverse symbol and the normal symbol, that's like the, the uh, backbone of a transition, especially for this type of track. So this is what it will sound like. Nothing special there, okay? Just a splash or a, or a symbol. And uh, the symbol is just being reversed. You can reverse anything, really. Uh, reverse a symbol, reverse a piano note. I have as well a piano note here. Let me show it to you. It serves as part of the actual, make it a little bit longer actually, because it's a little bit too short. So this is a reverse piano. Okay, so that meets with the first piano. So it's pretty much just the first chord of the piano, uh, just reverse. So it will sound something like this, both of them. And that's my first transition, which is in the actual intro. Now, I have a noise, which is literally white noise or pink noise, I don't remember now. But it's just this, really. And then it fades out. Uh, I have a riser as well, or again, more noise, which meets... Let me see if I can open it like this so you can see it better. So really, all together is four tracks of transitions or of uh, sound design, if you will. So that's my transition. Then when it goes into the second part, there is some other uh, noise building up. Very subtle. And then again. So it's almost like every bar, not every bar, but every uh, section or every chord cycle, if you will. In this case, I believe it's eight bars, this chord progression. 
and then it goes to the to the meat of the actual track it repeats it goes to the main section and then there's a drop okay so pretty much it's a very simple uh, process and this you can exaggerate it as much as you want I try to be very not conservative but it, it sounds pretty mm -hmm. you want to be in the video this is a transition from a tutorial to parenthood so this is what it will sound like again from the very beginning transition number one a splashy noise and that's my first chord progression and then we're coming to the second part or the intro with the drums so we're gonna get through the same cycle of chords and before we change I have the riser building up and then again another change So here, so there's always a new instrument I've been uh, put in or, or introduced. Uh, here I have the kick as well in this part. And then it skips a bit. Uh, and that is just to emphasize on the actual transition. And you can uh, study this on your own. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other music styles that do this uh, very well. Uh, electronic music or uh, EDM music do this because it's, a lot, it's based a lot on repetition. So they do before uh, a new section is coming or when they're doing the transition, they just uh, get rid of a few kick, uh, kick drum uh, beats, if you will, just to make like a small pause before the other section kicks in. And uh, this is very common, especially in electronic music, because it's, uh, it's so repetitive or that's the nature of this style of music. Uh, when the transition comes, uh, if you have a kick drum going, uh, and you just uh, take it away before the next uh, bar or the next uh, section of music is so obvious uh, uh, the, the actual transition you make it even more obvious you will emphasize on that so it's a combination of uh, sound design or just uh, reverse uh, symbols uh, noise and as well making some kind of pause with uh, with a kick drum so I'll play this little section again so you can see what I mean by that a very small pause on the kick drum but that helps a lot on the transition especially if it's gonna be if you want to emphasize it even more I don't have this uh, on every single uh, drum on every single kick but on this one uh, because the guitars are coming in and I have some other claps coming in again transitioning from tutorial to parenthood this is multitasking and transition at the same time so again the kick drum it helps a lot especially when you're going to introduce different elements uh or they're going to be even more elements or you want to emphasize more that transition so again transitions are very simple it's just uh reverse symbols noise white noise and pig noise and um just experiment with that there's a lot of things that you can do with transitions and uh you make them as as pronounced as you want and, uh, but the idea is to make them smooth, to make them part of the composition. So it's something that you can't really tell, but it's there. Only when you take it away is that you feel that there's something missing. I hope you're doing well. I'm just doing here a very quick uh, early morning tutorial slash vlog. Transitioning from parenthood to tutorial, back to parenthood, and now to edit this video for you. And um, yeah. Again, thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks a lot for all the love and support. Thanks for uh, all the messages and all the emails. And as always, rock and roll and here's to your success. Mm -hmm.